Anger over the death of Derek Williams is mounting. He died in the back of a police squad car. An inquest jury recommended charges, but a special prosecutor said no. He said the officers made a grievous mistake, but because a reasonable jury could not find guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, I must decline to issue charges in this matter. That caused a big protest today. Dozens of protesters tried to get inside City Hall today, but police blocked the doorway. It was noisy, but there was no pushing and shoving. However, earlier, one of the protesters broke a window at police headquarters. Police arrested a 42-year-old man from Fond du Lac. A group from Fond du Lac has a Facebook page promoting civil disobedience. And they urge followers to attend today's Williams protest using the slogan, No justice, no peace, arrest the police. That's a similar slogan that was chanted at City Hall today. Now, we do not know if the man who smashed out the window at police headquarters was part of that Fond du Lac group, but we do know he is from Fond du Lac. Lacey Crisp has more on today's demonstrations. Emotions are still running high over Derek Williams' death. More than 50 protesters took to the streets. They marched to the police administration building calling for Chief Ed Flynn's resignation. And then they came here to City Hall. Frustrated by a decision not to prosecute officers involved in Derek Williams' death, protesters gathered at the Marquette campus and took to the streets. Police threatened to arrest the protesters if they did not get off the streets. But instead, police ended up following the group, both on bike and in their cars. Has got to go. They walked along the busy downtown streets, calling for justice and action. Bring up the chief. They also called for Chief Flynn's resignation at the police administration building. Police say a protester broke a window in the building. Then they took their anger to City Hall, but were blocked by several police officers. To break each other up. Protesters finished the rally by holding hands and saying a prayer. And the protesters tell me they will continue marching until they get justice. On your side in downtown Milwaukee, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. A lawyer for Williams' mother says this case sheds a bad light on law enforcement. I think what, as a city, what we need to understand is our police department covered up this horrible, horrible death for 13 months. Chief Ed Flynn issued a statement tonight saying the Milwaukee Police Department is committed to protection of the community and to restoring the trust of those whose confidence was shaken by these events. The officers involved in this case have now returned to duty.